These $299 glasses claim they can remember everything from what your boss said at work to what your spouse told you months ago. But how does it actually work and what's the catch? Quick thing before we dive in, if you're into smart glasses and AI wearables, go ahead and hit subscribe right now. I cover this space every week and subscribing, make sure you don't miss the biggest breakthroughs. In this video, we're going deep on Brilliant Labs Halo Smart Glasses, the glasses that promise perfect memory. We'll answer three big questions. How do these glasses actually remember? Can this kind of memory really help in real life? And what are the trade-offs? What's the real cost of this memory? I've pulled together all the specs, the features, and even the real world demos. So by the end, you'll know if Halo is brilliant or if it's just hype. Now the real magic of Halo isn't just the display or the audio. It's something they call narrative memory. And this is where it gets really crazy. Most AI systems like ChatGPT, they can only remember what's inside their context window. Basically a few thousand words. And once that fills up, the old stuff gets forgotten. But Halo does it differently. Every moment you experience, what you say, what you hear, and what you see gets converted into a vector embedding. Think of it like a mathematical fingerprint on the meaning and not just the recording. Now, this vector memory is actually really, really amazing. So what it'll do is it'll capture an image of the person that you're talking to and store it as a digital fingerprint. It'll also record that conversation and link it through the neural network so that all of your conversation with that footprint of that person's face line up. It also uses your location and your surroundings so it can put together a complete picture of the conversation and anything you might think of that would have context with your interactions with the person. This makes it absolutely my favorite and most hyped up smart glasses that I absolutely can't wait to try out. But don't just take my word for it. Let's look at some real world demonstrations of Halo's memory in action. Hey, Noah. Yes. How long have I been punching this thing? You've been punching your double end bag for five minutes. And why have I been punching it so long? Do you remember? Your brother said you gas out too quick because your cardio sucks. So what you just saw is how narrative memory recalls a past interaction. And the crazy part is it's not replaying raw video. It's reconstructing the meaning using vector memory. Is this the sauce my wife wanted? No, that's bulgogi sauce. Your wife wanted galbi. Oh, is this one correct then? Yeah, that's correct. All right, thanks. So that was another example showing how Halo's built-in AI agent, Noah, uses both vision and audio to understand context and respond in real time. And finally, Hey Noah, do you see this plant right here? Based on the small, rounded, succulent-like leaves, this plant looks like it could be a Portulacaria afra, commonly known as elephant bush or dwarf jade plant. Does that seem right to you? Yeah, I think you're correct. Can you tell me what the ideal watering schedule is for this type of plant? Sure. For a Portulacaria afra, the ideal watering schedule is to water thoroughly when the soil is dry to the touch. Overwatering can be a problem. You want me to remind you to check the soil moisture whenever I see a Portulacaria afra? Yeah, and remind me that I watered two weeks ago. Okay, I see the Portulacaria afra again. Remember, it was watered two weeks ago. So check the soil moisture to see if it needs water. This is where it feels like science fiction. 
using Halo in daily conversations and pulling memory back instantly. Imagine your boss explains a complicated process once, and a month later, you can pull it back instantly. Or your spouse mentions their favorite wine, and six months later, Halo reminds you at the store. Or you're a student, and instead of flipping through messy notes, you just ask Halo what your professor said last week. In short, Halo's designed to act like a second brain, one that actually never forgets. But Halo isn't just about memory, it's open source, which means developers are already building some wild stuff for it. Now, here are just a couple of examples of what developers have already made for their last generation of glasses. The waypoint feature, it's like in a video game, when you look and you can see off into the distance where your next mission is, with this, you drop a pin in the map and it literally shows in your display. And as you move your head around, the pin will always be in the direction that you need to travel to reach that destination. This I think is completely mind blowing. And as a gamer, it's kind of close to my heart because this is something I've always imagined that I could get in real life. Another thing that they've developed is a little dino game. So it's, it's like a couple of little sprites moving around and you control the dinosaur. Seems really cool because games and smart glasses isn't something that we really have yet. So I thought this was pretty interesting. And another thing they've come out with reads the tone of your voice and will show you in your display how nice you're being to the person that you're talking to. It gives you uh, red, yellow, and green. And yellow and red mean that you're being a little too mean. Green means that you're being great. These aren't official Brilliant Labs features. They're community creations. And that's one of the best powers of open source and what makes it so important. Halo can be whatever developers imagine it to be. And I think the glasses have a really nice, timeless look to them. And I don't think anybody's gonna have any issues as far as the style goes. However, if you look at the back, you'll see two round circular bulges. And that's actually where they hide the battery, which gives you 14 hours of battery life. Some people are gonna be turned off by that, but the fact is they tuck behind your ears, so most people are never gonna notice anyways. Some other things that really separate this from other smart glasses out there is that the audio is actually bone conduction audio. So hopefully these are gonna sound much better with less noise leak than traditional open ear speakers. Another trick up these glasses sleeves is that it utilizes a really, really low power NPU. This is not a high powered Snapdragon processor, but it's more for on-device artificial intelligence. That's what allows it to be consistently listening and recording all day long. So you don't have to go into any sort of a live AI mode like you do with the Meta Glasses. Now, of course, there's gonna be some trade-offs. There's a camera, but it's actually not for you. It's for the AI. So you can't snap photos like you can with the Meta Ray-Bans. The glasses start at $299, but to unlock the full NOAA Plus memory features, it's $19.99 a month. And while the battery is rated for 14 hours, heavy AI use could bring that number down. These are the glasses that I feel I'm the most excited for. It's definitely a bummer not being able to take pictures with it. And that's a feature that I would definitely miss. But having the memory like this really will change the way that I interact with AI as far as being able to ask it questions from months or even years ago. You know how when you remember you talked about something and you remember who, but you don't remember what was said, this can dig into that conversation and they state up to decades later and it'll retrieve that information and give it to you. 
This is something that I find absolutely amazing. So when I'm at work and I have to learn something extremely complex, you really need to go over it more than once. And having a recording is really good. But having an AI where you can just ask it about what exactly was said can make a world of difference, especially when it revolves around your information and how it's specific to the company that you work for or, you know, the technology that you're using, because it may not be something general that chat GPT is going to be able to find. But when you're relating it back to the actual conversations that you had, I mean, this is like literally like training your own LLM with all of your data and being able to reference it anytime that you want. And by the way, you're actually, as a developer, able to connect your own LLMs up to these glasses so you don't have to rely on paying that $19.99 um, monthly subscription fee. And you can train it on whatever information that you want and have it accessible right there in your glasses. And another huge thing is the 14-hour battery life. I'm sick and tired of having to charge my glasses. I would love to be able to wake up, take my glasses off the charger, and wear them all day, and then put them back on the charger when I go to bed. Just like my phone, just like my smartwatch, have it exactly like that where I'm not having to worry about how much battery life I have left four or five hours after I wake up. So you can currently pre-order the Halo glasses for $2.99, and they'll be shipping out November 1st. Once they start shipping, the price is gonna go up to $349. I've currently got these on pre-order, and I'm really looking forward to doing a deep dive review as soon as they come in. I'd recommend everybody orders them before November 1st, if you're interested, because the price does go up. Now, before we wrap up, if you're into smart glasses and AI wearables, hit subscribe right now. I post deep dives and weekly news updates, so you'll always be the first to know about the latest breakthroughs. And I've noticed a ton of you are watching the videos but aren't subscribing. And honestly, hitting subscribe, that's the best way to support my channel and make sure you don't miss out on what's next. So, would you wear glasses that never forget? Personally, I think this memory feature could be an absolute game changer for work, for studying, and even in your relationships, if it works as well as they claim. Now, if you enjoyed this breakdown, check out my Smart Glasses Weekly show right here, where I cover more Meta, Oakley, and Samsung news, and every new release in this space. I'll give you the full picture of where Halo fits into the Smart Glass race. Hey, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week. I'll see you next time.